Okay, feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, coming into mountain pose as we begin. Sitting bones toward the floor, core activated to support your low back, so ribs toward your spine and up, shoulders back and down, arms just relaxed. And reach your crown to the ceiling, getting those vertebrae starting to spread apart. Spread your toes as well. Take a moment to focus inward and breathe. Inhaling, keep your shoulders down as you bring your arms to shoulder level and stretch out through your fingertips. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stretch to the front and exhale again behind you. Just clasp your fingers gently and lift your heart. Stretch your head back and then pivot at your hips. Exhale over, hands coming all the way up toward your head, head down toward your legs. Move your chin around, start releasing your neck. And then with your knees slightly bent, we'll work your way back up. Lift your heart, drop your shoulders, and a nice upper body back bend. Remember, don't crunch your neck together, so keep the chin down slightly. And reach out through the top of your head. Take a moment feeling that chest and heart area open. And then inhale upright, release your arms. Take a moment observing what your body is responding. A little more circulation through the back. And again, arms at shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and then clasp the opposite way behind you. So shift those fingers in one position over. Lift your heart, stretch your head back, pivot over. And again, just deepen into that position, letting the lower back get a good stretch. Tucking your chin, stretching the back of your neck as well. And then again, chin still in, knees slightly bent, work from the bottom of your spine all the way back up into that upper body for your back bend. Take a few moments to breathe there, lifting your heart. Stretch out through your head. And then inhale upright, back in the mountain pose. Again, just observing your yoga internal perspective. And side stretches, let's keep one arm down, the other one out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands away, keep everything facing the front, lean to the side. So remember, no leaning forward with that shoulder, don't look down. Keep the foot that you're leaning away from though, pressing down so you get that extra rib expansion. Feel the sideways movement to your spine. Inhale back up, release that arm, and just take a moment feeling the difference on the two sides. So let's do the other one. Arm out, palm up, hand above your shoulder. Keep both shoulders pressing down toward the floor. Keep both shoulders facing the front and lean to the other side. And again, just maximize with the foot down and the fingers and head pushing away. Feel the ribs stretching apart, spine moving sideways. Inhale back up, release your arm. Feel the sides, just noticing what's going on for you. Shoulders back and down, and let's spread the spine apart for our twists. So remember always you want those vertebrae to separate so they've got room to move. So stretching base of the spine, base of the skull away from each other, arms to shoulder level, palms up, hands right above your shoulders. Keep the shoulders down, clasp your elbows just gently. Bring your arms back next to your ears, sitting bones down, spine stretching up through the crown. Exhale, turn into your twist. Take a breath, exhale over. Just deepen as far as you'd like to go on that side. Keep the weight low on both feet as evenly as you can. Arms stay by your ears. And in the twist, inhale your way back up and into that upper body only for your back bend. Remember, always gentle on your low back while you're twisting. Take a breath or two, stretch it out. Inhale up. Exhale around to the center and switch your arms around. Again, bring them by your ears, stretch the spine apart, twist to the opposite side. One more breath in, exhale and over. And again, just deepen as far as you'd like to go, spreading your toes, lifting your sitting bones, 
keeping your arms by your ears, keeping the weight on both feet. And again, inhale your way back up in the twist into that upper body only back. Stretch out through the elbows, out through the ground, up with the heart. Take a breath or two there, lengthening everything. Inhale, upright, exhale around to the center. Bring your arms extended toward the ceiling. Stretch up through the crown. Come up on one toe. Stretch that opposite side. So really push the fingertips toward the ceiling, feeling that whole side stretch a little more. Exhale that side down. Do the other one up. So the side you're stretching, the foot stays flat. The other one, the heel lifts. And again, both feet down, both arms up and extended mountain. Pull the shoulders, shoulder blades down. Keep your arms by your ears. Pivot forward at your hips. So see if you can get parallel to the floor and just stretch everything out straight. And then just drop into rag doll. See how deep you're willing to go with that whole position. So you really pivoted right there at that hip joint, just letting the arms hang wherever they fall. Take a moment and breathe. Feel that back of your legs stretch a little bit more. You can do more even if you want to. Put your hands behind your calves and pull in, stretching that back. And then bring your arms back to the center. Once more, wind your way from the bottom of the spine and back into mountain pose. As you get there, just feel what's going on internally for you as that circulation all increases. Take a moment to breathe. Stretch the crown home. And let's bring the arms up, up and clasp your fingers. Press the palms away and straighten your elbows as much as you can right at shoulder level. But remember, shoulder blades down toward your waist. And just press out through the palms. Bring the arms up overhead, still pressing out through the palms. Stretch it all up. And then bring it back to the center. Shoulders down. And then bring your arms over to one side. Keep pressing out through the palms. Back to the center. Over to the other side. And back to the center. Pressing it. Again, raise up. Separate your fingers and come all the way down. And then bring your hands along the sides of your body coming up. Turn the palm, or palms out, back of your hands next to your head as you raise your arms back up. And open out to the sides, arms all the way back down. So again, arms coming up, back of the hands toward your body. Up, palms facing each other as you get all the way up. Turn the palms out and release. And then clasp your hands the opposite way. So shift the fingers one position over, opposite clasp. It'll feel weird, that's okay. And again, arms right at shoulder level, pressing out. Inhale, bringing the arms up. Shoulders down, sitting bones down, stretch that spine apart, keep breathing, spread your toes, even weight on both feet. And then bringing the hands back to shoulder level, move them to one side, pressing out through the palms, pressing out back to the center, pressing out over to the other side, and again, back to the center. And release. Take a moment there, just feeling a little bit more activity and circulation through the shoulder area. Let's circle them up and back a few times. And don't forget to breathe. Tuck your chin into that little throat center in the indentation at the front of your neck. Feel the back of your neck start to stretch. Just gently remember, no pressure, no forcing. And we're gonna put the hands on your head for weight, not pressure. So don't push, just let that happen. Take a moment and breathe. Shoulders are down, shoulder blades towards your waist, sitting bones toward the floor. Just let that neck stretch along the back of your body. Bring your chin right into that throat center notch. Exhale any tension, just feel the stretch gently. And then releasing both hands, tip your chin back to normal. 
And again, just take a moment there, breathing, while I get rid of the little fruit fly. Take a moment and reach the crown toward the ceiling. Lift your chin just a little bit. Keep stretching out through the base of your skull as well. And allow your front of your throat to get a little stretch. As you do that, just relax your shoulders down. Move your jaw around a little bit. Releasing any tightness in the throat. And then release that. Bring your hands one at a time to the front of your forehead. And again, not a lot of pressure there, just a little extra weight, letting your head maybe stretch back and down a little bit more. Take a moment, stretching out through the base of the skull, hips and shoulders still right above your ankles. And then bringing your hands back to your side, tip your head upright. So work the sides of the neck next. So bring your ear over toward the shoulder. Keep both shoulders down, just relax. Shoulder blades, sitting bones down. And just feel that side of your neck stretch a little bit more. And then bring the other hand that you're tipping toward up. And again, weight, not pressure. Just getting a little bit extra stretch along that side of your neck. If that's great, just leave it there. If you want a little more, flex your other hand and press the palm toward the floor. That'll make it a little more intense if you want it to. But remember, personal practice, do what's right for your neck, your body, your shoulder. Take a breath. Just let that ear sink a little further toward that shoulder. Take a moment and just breathe. And then release the arm that's down and the one from your head and tip your head back upward. Feel the difference, that's your yoga. And of course, we're gonna balance because that's what we do in yoga, tipping the ear on the other side toward the shoulder. Shoulders stay down, remember. Core is still active, supporting your spine. Evenly sink into your feet. Just feel that stretch gently begin. And then maximize it a little more with the weight of your hand on the outside of your head. Let that ear sink toward your shoulder. Stay there if that's plenty of stretch. Or again, you can flex your other hand, palm toward the floor, and push it just gently down. Take a moment, relaxing, breathing. Really exhale any tension that lets that whole area just release any tightness. Exhaling ears straight to the side, no twist, just allowing that stretch. And then releasing the arm that's down and the one from your head, tip your head back upright, feel the two sides a little bit more activated again. Hands to your heart, looking at them. Inhale toward the ceiling, keep looking at your thumbs, keep stretching through the back of your neck as you bring those thumbs back and keep looking at them, lifting your heart, coming into a little upper body back bend. Take a moment there, stretching out. And then exhale, hands to your heart, pivot on over, all the way down, and here. Ragdoll position. Lift those sitting bones, feel your legs getting a stretch. Slide your hands up under the knees and straighten elbows, knees, and spine. Keep the chin slightly in. Remember, you're always stretching out through the base of the skull, out through the crown, back with the sitting bones. Shoulder blades where? Toward your waist, always, whatever position you're in. And then bend your knees, come all the way to the floor, coming into child pose. Just sinking your hips back toward your heels, shoulders down, or head toward the floor. Bring your knees together if you want that low back getting extra stretch or not, your choice. Take a moment, just breathing, exhaling to each And then inhale, sitting up on your heels, and we're going to do a few little kneeling things. So if this is tight on your knees or calves, you can always, or ankles, you can always put padding under you. Always a good idea to have a nice blanket nearby to pad if that's necessary for you. 
Clasp your fingers together behind you, just gently push them to the floor and feel your heart open, stretching across the shoulders. Lift your chin just a teeny bit, but keep stretching the back of your neck. Feel that heart open even more. And then as you exhale, pivot forward. You can lift your hips if you want to or need to, and bring your forehead down toward the floor. Bring your hands toward your head, and let those shoulders rotate a little bit more. Fingers clasp. You can press the palms together if you want to, or separate the heels of the palms, which may give you a little bit more rotation. Tucking your chin, kind of roll onto the top of your head just slightly. Getting as much of a stretch on the back of your neck as feels good for you. Feel the forehead on the floor. And don't forget to breathe. And then as you inhale, bring your hands back down toward your hips, lifting your head, coming back up into your kneeling position. And release your arms. Feel the whole body, spine a little bit more open. Notice the back of your neck a little bit more stretched. And we're going to do that again, clasping the opposite way. So bring the hands behind you, shift the fingers in one position. And again, just breathing, lift your heart, and stretch across the chest. Lengthen through the back of your body, through the neck as well. And then as you exhale, tuck the chin a little bit. As you bring your forehead down toward the floor, either lifting your hips or not, your choice. Take a moment and breathe. Keep moving those shoulders, bringing those hands further towards your head as you're in that forward position. Take a few breaths there, just relaxing into it. Forehead toward the floor. You can go a little further onto the top of the forehead if that's feeling good for your neck. Don't forget to breathe. And then on an inhalation, once again, rotate the face gently forward as you bring your hands back down toward your hips, sitting all the way back up into your kneeling position, releasing your hands. Feel your spine, your neck, your body, everything just a little bit more activated. And don't forget to breathe. Now we're going to do a much more intense neck stretch on this next one. It's called rabbit. So for this one, if you have neck issues, be really gentle with yourself because you don't ever want to overdo stretching the neck. We're going to come up on our fingertips and tuck the toes under so the heels are raised and then sink back and clasp your hands around your heels. Feel the chest open. So bring those shoulders back and down. Lift the crown toward the ceiling. And we're going to pivot forward. And this time we're going to go on to not the forehead, with the very top crown of your head. So as much as you can, exhale, bring your body forward, top of the head down toward the floor, tucking your chin way in. As you do that, your hips will lift, that's okay. Just keep clasping around your heels and go as much onto the top of your head as you can. It's gonna constrict your lungs, yes, so it's a little bit harder to breathe. And then, we're going to slide the knees even further toward your head and roll even further onto the back of your head slightly, which stretches that back of your neck even more. So I'm sitting up because I can't talk very well in that position. But what I want to tell you is that this is supposed to be really good for relieving headaches, even migraines. So if you have any of those issues, this is a really important place to start learning. But always do a warm up first for your neck, making sure that you're not just going into this position, but you're getting your neck ready. Knees as far toward your head as they want to go, rolling as far onto your head as feels right for you. Take a moment and breathe. Just let it stretch gently, don't force it. And then release your toes toward the floor. Roll back, hips toward your heels, chin still tucked down, and roll back all the way up, lifting your chin back to neutral, coming into your kneeling position. 
Take a moment, just breathing. Exhale, tension. And then slide off your heels and come into stand position. So pressing out through the bottoms of your feet, up through the crown, activate that core for support on your spine. Shoulders right above your hips and shoulder, shoulder blades down towards your waist as the crown reaches up, stretching the spine apart. We're gonna do a little twist with just the neck. So keeping the shoulders even facing the front, pressing out through the bottoms of your feet, lift the crown even higher. And then we're just gonna move the chin rotating it toward one shoulder, the old backing out of the driveway position, looking back, seeing what's behind you as much or as little as you can. Your arms can be at your side or on your lap, either way, just keep the shoulders down. Exhale any tension, stretching always up through the crown and just letting that neck area get a nice little twist. Take a moment to breathe. And as you exhale, turn the chin back to the center. Lengthen up, shoulders down, and again, keeping that chin even, just turn it toward the opposite shoulder. Exhale any tightness, keep breathing, letting everything relax, just gently. Exhale, stretch it up. And on another breath, just turn back to the center. Feel that whole neck and shoulder area a little bit more activated and released. Take a moment to breathe, exhaling tension. Let's do our diving dolphin. So bring your foot up to your inner thigh, knee out to the side. We haven't warmed up the hips much, so it may be tighter than usual. Just be gentle. And then bend your other knee, bring the heel back somewhere near your hip, but not under it. But let that hip come up because we're twisting. So again, stretch your whole spine apart, up through the crown. Exhale, turn your hips, ribs, and shoulder toward that first knee you bend. Ribs go in, chin tucks slightly. Exhale, and dive under the water toward your knee. And then rotating your face slightly forward, keep stretching through that back of your neck. Inhaling your way up, lifting the heart to the sun and the sky as you inhale. So you're the dolphin, exhaling and diving under, inhaling and reaching up, lengthening, lifting the heart. Shoulder, shoulder blades down, spine stretching open. And again, just dive your dolphin a few times, following your breath, exhaling down, inhaling up, Feeling the rounded forward bend as you go down and the backward bend as you come back up. Hard hook. When you get to the top the next time, pause there. Exhale, turning back to the center and releasing your legs. Take a moment, feeling the spine a little bit more activated. Notice we've been working the neck on that a little bit as well. So just being gentle. And we'll do the other side. Sitting bones behind you, bringing that foot to your upper thigh, inner thigh, bending your opposite knee, bringing the foot back, heel near your hip, but not under it. Stretch up through the spine. Exhale and twist to the opposite knee. So again, remember you're bringing the ribs in, tucking the chin just slightly. Hands on the floor of your leg, wherever it's comfortable as you bring your forehead down on the exhalation, and then arching up in a back bend, lifting your heart, looking up, and still stretching through the back of your neck as you inhale your weight. Feel the hips moving, feel the ribs moving, feel the chest opening as you come up, and just allow your dolphin to be diving as deeply as it wants and lifting toward the sun and the sky as high as feels right for you today. And again, as you bring your face toward the ceiling and your chest open, shoulders and shoulder blades down, coming up, pause at the top, and exhale around once more to the center. Bring your legs out, back into staff position, and shift them to the end of the mat. Sitting bones behind you, 
Core activated, shoulders above your hips. Use that core for support to slowly roll to the floor. As you get all the way down, bring your head to the mat, arms out to T position for our final twist. Hands, palms up or down, we'll just do our bent knee twist. Sitting bones toward your heels, back pressing just gently down, heels in right near your sitting bones, knees straight up. Push gently down into your back, lift your feet, knees up off the floor, right above your hips. We're going to roll the knees over at hip level toward one side while you turn your head, another little twist for that neck area, looking toward that opposite arm. So remember, do what's right for your neck area as you look toward that hand behind you. And bring the knees toward the floor for what's right for your low back twist. And just keep the shoulders down as much as you can, maintaining that middle back twist as well. Take a breath there, just gently let your body relax into the twist, never force it. Exhale any tension, just breathe. And then heels back toward your hips, roll onto your back, and again, knees right above your hips. Straighten things out if you need to, and of course, we're twisting to the opposite side. So knees coming down at hip level, head turning toward that opposite side. Take a moment to breathe as you bring those shoulders nicely down onto the mat, turning your head toward that opposite hand. Remember, hands, palms up or down, just your choice on that. Knees as far toward the floor as they want to go. If you have low back issues, remember you can always pad under your knees so they never go too far. Take a breath. Exhale, tension. Shoulders relaxing. Head turning as much in a twist as it wants to. And breathing. And again, to release, heels toward your hips. Roll onto your back. Bring your feet to the floor. Take a moment there, bringing your hands next to your hips. Keep the knees bent, and we'll do a little back strengthener before we do our final relaxation. So just lift your ribs, bringing the sitting bones back toward your body, and then spread the sitting bones down toward your heels as you push the whole spine into that surface beneath you. A little core activation, because we haven't done too much with that today. Just following your breath, exhaling, pressing down, inhale, lifting the ribs, getting that space under your low back. Just breathing, letting everything loose. And then turning your hands, palms up, shoulders down, extend your legs out, hip width apart, bring your toes toward each other, and then let them separate. Deep breath in. Exhale, just let everything release any tightness. Coming into corpse position for our final relaxation. Take a moment, focusing inward, breathing deep. Just allowing your body to soften and sink into that surface beneath you. You did a lot with the neck today, so just roll your head side to side, letting anything that's tightened go ahead and release again. And bring your chin down toward your chest and over to your shoulder, and then down to your chest and over to the opposite shoulder a couple of times. Coming back to a neutral position, so maybe lift your chin a tiny bit toward the ceiling, feeling that back of the neck getting a little bit of a push. Take a moment to breathe, softening your body and letting it sink. Deep breaths in. Relaxing your shoulders, your torso, your feet. And just let your whole body grow soft and heavy, sinking into that earth support. Deep breaths in. Exhaling, just letting everything go even more. And as your body sinks into that surface beneath you, just allow Mother Earth to support you completely. Let everything release especially that neck and shoulder. Deep breaths, just relaxing, releasing thoughts of your body, just letting it be supported. 
And as you relax into that deep support, just let thoughts of your body release from your awareness. And as other thoughts come to you as they will, just let them go as well. Remember, it's the job of your mind to produce those thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. At this moment, you don't need to remember the past or anticipate the future. You don't need to think of the content of any thought at all. Just let them go as easily as your breath. And as your body relaxes and your mind just drifts, allow your awareness to release both your body and your mind. And just turn the awareness inward to that peace deep within. Breathe deep. Follow the peace. Fill your body with peace and your mind with peace. And just take a few moments to be peace. Take more opportunity to relax today. Just take as much time as you have. If it's time, though, to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness back to the moment before you with your breath. Breathing more deeply, stretching more fully as you're ready to do so. And when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones towards your heels, back pressing down, Draw your heels toward your hips and your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug, letting your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead in your world today. Thanks for joining me.